welcome let's try to look at to another item uh, which we call computer generations here I want to define what are computer generations because everything you see has a beginning this was the beginning of computers what were the characteristics of computers at that level it was around 1940s that was the first generation of computers that were invaded or innovated computers could do different tasks but these tasks you see right now some of these computers could not manage to do them but being that they were characterized with some items or some features that's why they could not accomplish those tasks so let's look on to computer generation characteristics one they were very expensive computers in the first generation Today you can go in a shop and buy a computer, but way back it was hard. In the first generation, it was the computers were very, very expensive. So they could not be afforded by everyone. So that was one of the items in there, or that was one of the characteristics of computers in the first generation. Another characteristic is that uh, computers were very very slow they could move at a very low pace today computers can do at a very fast speed or at a very fast rate but way back in the first generation computers were characterized with a uh, very low speed so computers were very slow I will continue we shall see that in the first generation still computers were very big computers were very big to a level that like the room that you stay where you sleep or they were very big like uh, uh, equivalent to a small shop that you start your village or those single shops that you see single room shops so a, a, a one piece of a computer so the circuits the screen uh, and all those could make up a very big room so computers were very big still in the first generation we see that they they had little storage still a computer was slow was very expensive it was very big but still it had little space for storage today you can find a small computer having thousands of gbs but way back computers were characterized with an item that they were uh, they were they had little storage on their hard disks we have seen that they were having they were mainly for security they were mainly for security uh, the reason as to why uh, uh, computers were innovated in the first place or in the first in the first generation was for security purposes uh, as you may read in different books they were mainly for governments uh, you could as well uh, know that being that they were very expensive it could only be multinational organizations and governments that could afford the computers in the first generation in the first generation still computers were command prompt they could only use commands today we have graphical user interface GUI where you, you interact with the screen it has pop-ups it has information boxes it has dialog boxes so today computers are easy to use because they have been developed but in the way back they were uh, command prompt still another characteristic which i may not have here in my show but we can talk about it that computers we are not multitasking they could not handle different tasks so generously they were uh, uh, 
handling one task at a go. They were not multitasking. In the first generation, they were not having what we call artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, like where you touch on to the fingerprint on your phone, it's only your, it's only your finger that can open that phone. So it means they had no artificial intelligence in the first place or in the first generation. So what are some of the characteristics of computers in the first generation? Those few that we have mentioned are some of the characteristics of computers in the first generation. Briefly, we can end there for now. Uh, thank you. You can go onto our channel and look for more of these and other tutorials. Uh, for now, I wish you well.